and welcome to Champions of Change, a TV series wherein we showcase enterprises that are transforming India's socio-economic landscape. In this special episode, we present to you the Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative of IFL Foundation, which is committed to helping eradicate female literacy across Rajasthan, one young girl child at a time. Thinly populated areas, scattered settlements, conservative mindset, language barrier, poor economic conditions and the lack of accessibility to knowledge are the prime challenges for most children in rural areas of Rajasthan, especially girls. Eliminate female illiteracy from select 13 districts of Rajasthan, IIFL Foundation is leading the way through its girl child education initiative called Sakhyoki Badi, aiming to provide community based non formal learning centers for the female girl child. We caught up with its director, Madhu Jain, who heads the foundation and its flagship initiative, Sakhyoki Badi, to talk more about their mission that aims to attain 100% female literacy in Rajasthan by 2030. Conquering female illiteracy in this country is no small feat. What inspired IIFL Foundation to take on the challenge head on? Great question to start with. So, uh, we started uh, working on the issue of uh, female illiteracy in 2016 and uh, um, it was done in the state of Rajasthan and we thought that uh, uh, we should work on the projects which are for long term, which create high impact, which, are, uh, which brings uh, uh, you know, sustainable changes and which transform lives. So, uh, we started working on um, education projects. We have two major objectives of starting this uh, SKB program, that is Sakyong Ki Badi program. Uh, first one is to light the lamp of literacy by providing functional literacy and numeracy to uh, illiterate girls. And the second one is, we want to change the narrative around girls. Give us a sense of the dynamics of the Sakyong Ki Badi learning environment and how does it differ from a traditional classroom? for example. So, uh, what is Sakhyong Ki Badi? Sakhyong Ki Badi is a community school where we are providing uh, foundational literacy and numeracy to illiterate girls and uh, school dropout girls and the girls who are out of school. So, it is a community school and community is taking the complete onus of the program. So, community is providing us the venue. So, venue can be any open space. Uh, uh, it can be conducted anywhere in open spaces or somebody's, somebody's house under the tree or uh, in community hall. Now, uh, here we have taken a multi-systemic approach. And teacher, uh, when she is providing any task paper in the classroom, then teacher is very much clear about the learning outcomes. Teacher knows what all the activities she is going to uh, explain while uh, doing this task. Uh, she prepares all the materials which are needed to explain this uh, task, right? Um, teacher is continuously in touch with parents and the community. So, um, continuous counselling is done so that they send their children to school regularly. How do you ultimately assess the impact of the Sakhyong Ki Badi initiative? How do you encourage these young girls to blossom into curious learners and keen observers that ultimately hopefully blossom into active participants in society with their contributions? So, we have set up a very ambitious target for ourselves uh, related to uh, uh, child illiteracy eradication and bringing uh, gender equality in the society. So, we have to address the root cause of the uh, problem. So, uh, for that we have adopted multi-stakeholder approach. Now, uh, if I talk about the impact uh, directly on our uh, uh, direct beneficiaries who are 4 to 14 years of uh, um, girls, uh, then I would say that the, the, there are uh, increase in the learning outcomes, 
then uh, rate of retention has increased and rate of enrollment at Sakhyo Ki Badi and in the government school has also increased. So, uh, if we talk about the impact on the community that there is a, a awareness about the importance of girl child education, parents are ready to give their phone to um, girls for 4 hours, more than 4 hours and uh, uh, you know they know the harmful impact of child marriages on young girls right and uh, um, they uh, the villages where we are working there the marriageable age of female has increased from 13 16 to 18 20 my understanding is that each sakhyoki body center is based in a village with a unique language a unique culture and a unique tribal community so how do you ensure that the curriculum tailors to these girls unique needs Rajasthan is a cultural capital of India and it is famous for vibrant colors and cultures and each region has its distinct um, language and um, uh, so uh, for example we have Marwari, we have Mewari, we have Wagadi and Rajasthan, um, uh, Rajasthan's official language is Hindi. So uh, wherever we are working we try to uh, take the teacher from the community itself so uh, she can speak their regional languages right and she starts uh, teaching in regional language so if she is explaining any concept in the class she will start with regional language first yeah. local dialect cannot be changed so you have to build your curriculum according to that only you have to respect that that is the beauty so uh, that's why we have taken the uh, local teachers so that uh, they can explain in their regional language and uh, we, we want to preserve the local language, we want to conserve the local language, we don't want to destroy that. To what extent is this initiative focused on generating employment opportunities for tribal women and is there an equal emphasis on adult education? Here our target group is 4 to 14 years of illiterate girls and we are providing functional literacy to them. So we are not focusing on adult education, but our center is learning center. So whoever is coming to our center, we are not saying no. So sometimes boys are coming, sometimes mothers are coming, grandmothers are coming. So we are providing literacy to them, like functional literacy and basic calculations. And our girls who are uh, at our centers, they are also conducting Chopal meetings. There they are taking initiative of adult education. They are teaching them how to write, how to sign, so signature, drive and all that they, uh, these kind of activities they conduct. Now our Dakshas, our teachers, they are generally 10th pass and 12th pass. So we provide them uh, skills, we help them in building their capacity. So uh, every month we are providing them teachers training. So they are now their academic levels have increased and it has gone to higher levels right. so they can teach in any school any government schools anyone can hire them so uh, Sakhyun Ki Padi is providing motivation it is providing opportunity and platform to our teachers so when they joined they were 10th pass yeah. but they got motivated uh, for higher learning inspired for higher learning and they did graduation and they completed post graduation also can you also give us a sense of the reach of this initiative in terms of the number of districts, villages and girls served? Uh, we started in 2016 in Rajasthan and uh, we started with uh, one district and 3000 girls and 100 schools. And after 4-5 years, now we have 36,000 girls under our program and we are working in 13 districts of Rajasthan. And um, we have some boys also, so 3000 boys are there and uh, 1200 community schools are there and uh, 1200 teachers are there so we are empowering this 1200 uh, women uh, if you talk about the mainstreaming so around 4000 to 5000 girls have been mainstreamed to government school in standard third standard seven eight has the pandemic put a damper in your efforts and if so how did you regroup recover and recommit to your vision and mission? Uh, no, no, uh, not at all. This pandemic didn't stop us or didn't slow down our literacy 
uh, project. So, in fact, I would say that pandemic provided us an um, opportunity to use technology to connect with all our team members. So, um, uh, we, we have been trying this for the last three years, four years, but we struggled with it. But um, after pandemic, we got connected with the team members. We organized many workshops for their capacity building. Now, uh, our uh, teachers, they are digital experts. They can uh, download all the apps. They can explain uh, via using this apps. And uh, um, uh, I would say that pandemic proved very beneficial for our literacy project. What are your plans for the Sakyong Kibari initiative going forward? Rajasthan has 33 districts and we are right now working in 13 districts of Rajasthan. Uh, in next five years, we want to work in uh, or we want to scale up in 10 more districts and want to touch the lives of uh, 3 lakhs girls and um, uh, that is only possible by public-private partnership and uh, with more collaboration and partnership with local NGOs and educational institutions and uh, uh, ultimate target is to achieve 100 percent literacy by 2030 in Rajasthan and that's how IFL Foundation wants to contribute in government's mission to achieve uh, uh, SDG goal number four that is quality education and no one is left out. We are very happy to support the IFL Foundation's program uh, for educating girl children, out of school girls. And uh, what is heartening to note that already we are covering 35,000 girls and over a period of time this number will increase very rapidly. Uh, the response from the government authorities, local bodies, even the villagers has been far better than what we could have expected. And these girls are real champions of change. You know, when you educate a girl child, at least in Indian context, you are not changing one individual's life, not one family, but two families. And some of these girls are so talented, I'm very sure uh, that some of them will become Indra Nui, Kalpana Chawla or will go to places uh, even higher than that. All our people, uh, the village dachas or the teachers are doing so much good work with so much of passion that this would become an inspiration and role model for many other organizations to take this activity. The task in Indian context is very huge and it requires many IFL foundations kind of organizations to come together and work. My best wishes. Thank you. IFL foundation has brought over 36,000 out of school girls students back into the education fold. We are very proud of the commitment shown by our team in the state of Rajasthan and also have benefited from the cooperation of the local communities and the state government machinery. Education continues to remain a focus area for our CSR and we hope to achieve our long-term ambitious target of 100% girls' child literacy in the state of Rajasthan. Started in the year 2016 with 3,000 girls enrolled in the program. Today, with 1,164 Sakyoki Badi Learning Centers, the IIFL Foundation engages with over 35,900 girls. My name is Rajiv Shinde and I have been working with IFL Foundation since last five years as a senior zonal manager. I am based at Udaipur because our venture Sakyoki Badi is covering Rajasthan and eradicating uh, female illiteracy from the state. Uh, if we talk uh, even in the present times of 2021, there are many such remote villages across Rajasthan where education is neither a need nor a necessity and more so for a girl child. So the conditions are pretty challenging for us to work. Uh, it starts with convincing the community and the parent that literacy is important, be it a male child or a female child. 
while the vision of Sakyo Ki Bari is to eradicate girl child illiteracy and inspire them for higher education, the basic work starts at the ground level. In Sakyo Ki Bari, one of the main stakeholders are the community members. In other words, we can say Sakyo Ki Bari is by the community and for the community. Even we selected the teachers after we observing their behavior with the community. This allows community members to know the feelings that the Sakyoki body belongs to them. With our 1200 centers, we experience that the centers where community engagement is good, the learning outcome is much more better. Once the community members agree to open a Sakyoki body center in the village, an appropriate location is identified, which is usually a veranda or a community space. The teachers or Daksha are provided formal training through a well-designed curriculum and the centre is also provided with education learning materials for engaging girls back to education. My opinion is that if you take this training well, if you learn it well, if you learn it well, you will learn it well. When Daksha is a Daksha training, you will learn it well. 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 कर पाएगी क्योंकि ट्रेनिंग के माध्यम से वो अपनी समस्या बताती है और फिर वो बच्चों की समस्या को समझती है और वो जब पूरी तरह से समझ जाएगी टास्क को पेपर को लेकर या अपनी समस्या को लेकर अपना क्लियर कर पाती है तो वो बच्चों की समस्या को भी समझ पाएगी। Sakyo Ki Bari has not only proven to be a great asset for the young girls, but it has also encouraged our Dakshas and other women in the village to do better in life. What did you get? Kamla. Kamla. I didn't get out of bed from home. I was able to get out of bed. When the Sakyo Bari was here, when we went to Kaya training, I asked how many of you are studying. Everyone was saying graduation. Everyone was saying that. Everyone was saying that. Everyone was saying that. I was saying that. I was able to get out of bed. Then I opened the Sakyo Bari in 2017. Then I also had a chance to get out of bed. I would like to go there and tell you that I was able to get out of bed. Then I went to private. सलूमर से फॉर्म भरा फिर अभी एम ए प्रीवियसली सेकेंडरी कर रही हूँ अब मेरे को इतना बड़ा नॉलेज मिल गया हम घर से ही बोलते थे अब अपन राजपूत नहीं जाते अच्छा नहीं लगता बाहर ही हूँ पढ़ाई नहीं करवानी फिर भी मैंने हिम्मत नहीं हारी कि नहीं पीछे नहीं रहना अपन को तो आगे ही बढ़ना है A number of activities such as songs and games are introduced by adopting playway method to attract children towards education, hence bridging the gap between mainstream education. We visited three of the most promising Sakhyoki Bari centers located around 80 kilometers away from the hustle and bustle of Udaipur city. But the path to this was not very easy. मेरा रोज का दो सखियों की बाड़ी केंद्र विजिट रहता है जो अलग-अलग जगह पे पहाड़ों में होते हुए बहुत दुर्गम स्थान पर हैं तो मैं मेरी बाइक से वहाँ पे जाता हूँ वहाँ जाने के बाद जो दक्षा बच्चों के साथ जो गतिविधियाँ कर रही हैं उसमें दक्षा का सपोर्ट करना ऐसे भी रिकॉर्ड संबंधित जो भी सुधार करना अगर रिकॉर्ड में कुछ चीज़ें मेंशन बाकी है तो उनको मेंशन करवाना कम्युनिटी में जाना बालिकाओं एसके बी पर आने वाली बालिकाओं के माता पिता से संपर्क करना उनको एसके एसके बी पर बालिकाओं को भेजने के लिए प्रेरित करना इसके बाद हमारे जो शक्य की बाड़ी केंद्र हैं उनकी एक कम्युनिटी बनी हुई है कमेटी बनी हुई है जिसका नाम है अपनी चौपाल अपनी चौपाल के सदस्यों के साथ मीटिंग करना एसकेबी के बारे में प्रगति के बारे में उनके साथ चर्चा करना जो बालिका कंटिन्यू केंद्र पे नहीं आ रही है उनके लिए उनको जिम्मेदारी देना वह उनको केंद्र पर नियमित करने के लिए बातचीत करना इस तरह का हमारा काम रहता है However, each Sakyo ki Bari is an independent world in its own. One such unique centre is located in a serene yet very challenging terrain of Udaipur. Nizhada Mangara is the main place and there is a lot of water 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 and there is a lot of water. यह वहाँ बहुत सेंटर गुरम की या मेंदोड़ा मंगरे के या खुलने नहीं चाहे वह दूर पड़ता है बच्चा जाना आना बहुत तकलीफ पड़ते हैं यह मेंदोड़ा मंगरे के अंदर चार तरफ पानी है यहाँ से बच्चे बाहर नहीं जा सकते बाहर नहीं जाने से यह उसकी पढ़ाई नहीं हो रही है चक्की की वाड़ी यह खुली है 
बच्चों को फायदा मिल रहा है और मिलना चाहिए When everyday struggles are hard to bear, the first among the children who have to drop out of schools to support their families are girls, thus making the lives of the tribal girls much worse. My name is Monica Mina. I was born in 2017. Before I was born in 2017, I was connected to the tribe of Sakyo. और मैम और टीचर मैम मुझे बहुत कुछ सिखा रही है मैं पहले उस उस समय से पहले मैं कुछ नहीं जानती थी उसके बाद मैं सक्यो से बाड़ी से जुड़ी तो मैंने बहुत कुछ सीखा है अब पूरी पूरी तरह से मैं सीख चुकी हूँ और दिल लगा के अभी भी पढ़ने लगती मेरा नाम ममता कुमारी मीना मैं पहले बकरी चराने गई थी और मैं दो से आई और पढ़ने लगी मैं संख्यों की बाड़ी में मैंने सीखा चित्र बनाना सीखा गणित पढ़ने सीखा इंग्लिश पढ़ने सीखा हिंदी पढ़ने सीखा खेल कूदना सीखा सख्यों की सख्यों की बाड़ी में मेरे को बहुत मजा आया After the Sakyo Ki Badi Learning Center was opened in their village in 2017 they finally gathered the courage to start learning again Looking at the progress and commitment of Sakyo Ki Badi teachers the community members of the village are positively influencing others in the village to read and write better Mera manna hai ki ek nari padegi saat pide taregi Sakyo Ki Badi 2017 se start hui hai hamare yahan gaon mein pehle padhne ki koi wo nahi thi ab jo sasta Sakyo Ki Badi aaj chalu hui hai to hamare gaon mein bahut acche kaam ho raha hai पहले अन साक्षरते थे पढ़ने के लिए साक्षरता हो रही है स्कूल खुली तो बहुत अच्छा था और हम भी साइन करने सीख गए और हम भी पढ़ाई करना सब बोलने सब सीख गए बट द कोविड 19 पेंडेमिक ब्रॉट द वर्ल्ड टू अ सडन स्टैंड स्टिल पोस्ट इंपोजिशन ऑफ द नेशन वाइड लॉकडाउन इन मार्च 2020 द इंटरेक्शन एंड एंगेजमेंट विद द चिल्ड्रन केम टू अ हॉल्ट The team remained committed to ensuring continued learning even during the pandemic by embracing online teaching tools. The online sessions eventually took off and the participation increased with time. With over 5 years of hard work, we have developed a pretty refined model in form of Sakyo Ki Badi which can be replicated across different districts of Rajasthan and we can fulfill our mission which is to eradicate illiteracy among girls from Rajasthan by the year 2030. A girl child is deprived of basic education for reasons such as poverty, cattle and sibling care or simply the pressure of earning money. Initiatives like Sakyo Ki Badi by IIFL Foundation is thus set out with an aim to scale up operations in 10 more districts gaining an overall engagement with over 5 lakh girls by 2025. Mujhe bada ho ke teacher banna hai. Main badi ho ke nurse banne ki. मैं बड़ी होकर वकील बनूंगी मैं बड़ी होकर सरपंच बनूंगी मैं बड़ी होकर डॉक्टर बनूंगी मैं बड़ी होकर पुलिस बनूंगी वेल दैट ब्रिंग्स द स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ चैंपियंस ऑफ चेंज टू अ क्लोज आई एम पूजा जैन साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग